So let's start to look how we can change the slice size of each or specific items in Chart.js Donut Chart. So to create or change the thickness of the slice of a donut chart, we need to have first our boiler template. This boiler template here, you can find here on chartjs3.com getting started. This link, you can find as well in the description box. Once you're on here, copy this chunk of code here. And if you want to have the source code of this and many of my other videos, check out my Patreon. You can find the link as well in the description box. So what we want to do is convert this, but I'll make sure that here the width has a percentage. So it's a dynamic width. That will be important later on for the slices that we can check if the slice as we change the chart size will correspond nicely. So I'm going to scroll down here and say this will be our donut chart. Save, refresh. There we are. Let's remove the scale. We don't need all these scale grid lines. So I'm going to remove that part, save that, refresh. There we are. Now, what I want to do is I want to make sure that certain slices are larger than other slices. Or at least one specific one I want to highlight. So to do that, I'm going to create a plugin here. So after the options, put a comma, I'm going to say plugins bracket. And then we're going to say here slice thickness. That will be a nice plugin name. And this is an array because we could have more than one plugin. Then what I will do here, I'm going to give this a proper name. This will be a plugin block. Then I'm going to say a constant slice thickness equals the ID slice thickness. And then we're going to say here before they, no, not even before data sets draw, before we draw the chart. The reason why is because this drawing here must be done, or the calculation of the slices of drawing must be done before we draw anything or else it will not work. So that's why we have the before draw, it will pre-calculate and then it will draw the size accordingly. So what I need here is the chart and probably can say here the, uh, the uh, plugin options, but we won't be using that anyway, so it doesn't matter. And then we can say here. What do we want to do here? Well, this will be a bit more tricky. You have to understand this. Since we want to have a dynamic, we need to make sure that we we'll understand the dynamic uh, part of it. To do that, we need to make sure we have the width of the chart. So what I'm going to do here, first of all, we're going to get here the console log chart and see where can we find the chart area width. Save this, refresh, open up the developer tab. You can click on one of this and then you can see here the chart area. And we have here the width. This here calculates from left to right how many pixels it is. In our case, it is 511 pixels. All right. So that will mean that we have now this information. How do we get there? That was chart area dot width. Later on, this will become important. Next, what I want to do is I want to draw basically the item. So how can I say, for example, this slice must have a different size well to look at that we're going to do the following we have to look at something else and this something else well we can do a console log as well and i'm going to use a built-in chart.js function which is chart.get the data set meta index zero and let's say i want to select this blue slice so data set is index zero because we only have one data set in this case and then we're going to say here the data will be index one because I want to select the blue slice. So if I refresh this, we get a lot of information here and you see all these movements here. So don't worry about that. But if I open up one of this, we will see here information that we need. The outer radius, which is basically the line here and how many pixels it is. And we have the inner radius. Uh, let's see. We have the outer and we have here somewhere the inner. The inner would indicate from the center to this part here basically where the line start of the arc that is how many pixels it need to skip from the center to make that gap and then we have the outer radius and how far we go outside basically so if we can reduce that it will make this uh, slice of our donut chart smaller so let's try, start to work on that so we're going to say here dot inner radius i want to maintain the inner radius but I also want to get the outer radius and this outer radius, that's the one we need to adjust. So if I refresh here, we get all these numbers. All right, so what I can do now is the following. Let's say here, the 
slice what I'm gonna do here is uh, well we can do it very simple by saying here outer radius would be equal to 200 pixels instead so if I save this refresh you can see here now we have pinpointed this one however this of course can be more tricky when you start to change the chart as you can see here and this will just stay static so this is the reason why we have later on uh, the item here the chart area width all right so if you want to have more than one well what we can do here is we can create a very simple item for this so what I'm going to do here I'm going to create a let and I'm going to say here the slice slice uh, thickness in pixels all right and this is an array and this array let's give it 300 and the other one will be 250 so we have two of these items I want to pinpoint the red one and the blue one so then what we can do here is in for each loop so I'm going to grab this say here dot and I'm going to say here for each so I'm going to loop through each and then assign them all individually what I want so we can say here this will be let's say the uh, size or thickness that's maybe a better name and the index number in case we need the index number then here function error expression and then what I want to do here is just grab this item here or not even that just grab this put that in here and we're going to say this will be of course based on the index and the value will be the thickness that we have pre-defined uh, here all right so we do this then we save and I'm going to remove this one because this will counteract let's remove that as well save refresh all right so now this works and it looks nice but the moment you get smaller to a certain extent then we get problem as you can see here it starts to become bigger while we want those smaller and the reason why is because of the uh, size or the width of the chart area that changes every time so what we need to do is make it relative whatever we have here we need to make this relative so to do that what I want to do here is basically say this chart area width we're going to copy that we're going to divide this by the thickness if I save that refresh now we get this but that looks kind of weird all right so what we need to do here is of course make it percentage so I say here multiply by 100 and I want to make sure that this will be calculated first although I think it will but just give this priority save that refresh now we have this and if I would change this it will work to a certain extent of pixels and probably about once the chart area hits about 300 pixels 290 you can see here well uh, in that case it will become a bit more tricky so you can see here this 435 and if I keep on going somewhere below the 350 300 it becomes a uh, well not it will not match correctly so you could play around with that by changing these numbers here but if you have a chart of with a width of 300 pixels that that is really the minimum I would suggest but that's basically how to do this